What's up, everybody? Uh, I don't even know what this is. Um, welcome to Kitco Plays a Scary-ish Game, so you don't have to be scared. And I maybe will be. Um, this is Finger Bones. Actually, I could just read the little, like, description on the side here of what this is. Finger Bones, a psychological horror game by David Szymanski. I'm sorry, oh my god. This is a Polish name and I have a Polish name and I feel bad mispronouncing Polish names. I think it's Polish. It ends in ski, so I would assume. Uh, David Szymanski. Uh, Finger Bones is intended to be completed in a single sitting and there is no safe function. It is suggested that you set aside about a half an hour to complete it. To exit, visit the door you started at, use WASD to move, and the left, bleh, the left mouse button to interact with the environment. Escape, blah blah blah. Settings, okay. So, I don't know why I'm recording this. I just, I wanted to play this game for a while, and I thought it could be fun to record a quote-unquote scary game uh, just to see how it goes. I'm not even sure if this will actually be a thing. You cobwebs. Or not. But we'll see. Maybe this will go somewhere. Maybe it'll be on my YouTube. Maybe it won't be. Um, first of all, this looks like Minecraft. It looks like Minecraft dirt in here. <laughs> but Okay, I'm supposed to be scared. Honestly, it's hard to be scared when you have a cat on your lap and she's like kneading your stomach. Hard to be scared whenever that's happening. Uh, oh, is this a note? It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. So I will say that one of the things that attracted me to this game is that it boasts not having jump scares and immediate threat so it's not that kind of horror it's more atmospheric and you just get into the mood of it instead of being like jumped at <laughs> which i don't like in horror i really like eerie horror not um like human response horror <laughs> where something jumps at you and you scream like I don't see the point in that. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Well, okay. <laughs> Alright. Also, if you hear cats meowing, it's because they're scared and they don't know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to nobody. Don't worry about it. I'm talking to strangers on the internet. I just tried to jump onto that chair. Don't worry about it. Clearly, you can't jump. What? Oh! Snap! Can I turn this on and off, or do I just have this now? What else can I click on? Can I get a weapon? Nope. Knife? What about this knife? It's different. Can I have it? Clearly not. Okay, so where is the way out? Is this just... There's a cube. How do I open this? Oh my god, is this gonna be a puzzle solving thing? Am I just gonna embarrass myself by not being able to solve puzzles? Okay. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. 
damn her for being like her mother. How dare she? So, so far this is not scary at all. So I guess Katie is the answer to one of the things here. Fuck. The generator? That almost scared me. <laughs> Door. I'm guessing it's locked since it's making that noise. I think this is the exit, so I don't want to go through that. Why is this red over here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Katie. What? How's that incorrect? Katie? Did I not read her name right? Is Katie not her name? Katie. It said Katie, didn't it? Also, why is this guy so slow? I've already unlocked it and I'm just not trying it. That just doesn't sound like the right noise. Oh! Okay. I guess it was a right noise. It just sounded like an eh, you're wrong noise. <laughs> Ew, cobwebs. of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. Okay, I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. <sighs> is this one of those, like, dumb storylines? I'll be disappointed if it is. Okay, I can't get through there. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyways. Excuse me? Uh... I'm assuming that the cellar is not good news. Uh, am I missing something? The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. What? The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Uh, what? I feel like I should be able to pick this thing up. This looks like something to, like, pick a lock. But it's probably supposed to be a pencil or something. Do I need an item? Did I miss something? Should I not be standing on this while I'm trying to open it? No. Okay, back upstairs. Why are you so slow? God damn. What am I missing here? Boxes, 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 books, 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 cup, other pencil thing, 
Okay, what about that cube thing? I read that already. Um, what about these? Any of these open? Okay, why put all these here if they don't do anything? What is the point? I want to know what this is. I also want to know how to get through <laughs> the freaking doors. Okay, is anybody here scared? Because I gotta say, I'm not. <laughs> Can I turn this off? It's loud. I don't like it. Um, what am I missing here? I didn't know I would be playing a puzzle game. Do I need to type something else? Like... Lynn? I mean, it made the noise. So we'll check it out. This guy just uses people's names as passwords. Did you hear that? Did I just make that sound up? my head. That's a little scary. That sounded like a child. Do I want to try to go down there first? I want to try to go through- wait. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't want to go down there. Oh. I expected to be teleported through here. So it was frightening when that didn't happen. Is that blood? Actually, it just looks like a juice stain. <laughs> you spilt your juice! Um, what am I looking for? Can I turn on the sink? What? Inaccurate. I want to be able to turn on sinks, man. Okay, I also want to read these notes in order. I don't know which order I'm supposed to be going in. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps break up the monotony. I yearned for the excitement of those first weeks. Dude, the... Hello? This guy's a jerk. There are things I've wanted to do for years, desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've worn since I've worn a woman. <laughs> Jeez, since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. What? supposed to go next. There's nowhere to go. Note. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. Knee. The rest of the word is missing. Knee. What the heck does that mean? for a word in his notes that has two N's and a Y. Basement. 
screwed. Loud generator. Cool. Nope. <laughs> uh. Me. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Dude, I better not get stuck on this. That would suck. No, I don't want to exit. Oh my god. Me. Like, I can't start with NNY. remember. I don't know how your mind works. You're a freaking weird, crazy guy. Money? No, money only has one end. <laughs> See, that's a word I could easily remember. Does funny have? Uh, <sighs> what else did he say? obvious and I'm just missing it. I'll be here with me, looking it up. We're gonna look this up together. You can't see me looking it up, but we're gonna look it up together to see if it if it was really dumb. What am I? This better be easy to find, first of all. Blah, blah, blah. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm gonna... Are you kidding me? Is this for real? <laughs> Is this for real? Is this what it's supposed to be? Oh my god. I'm gonna... <laughs> Why? Why would you say a word I can easily remember and it's backwards? I even thought, oh, these are letters in her name. But it doesn't work, because it's- oh my god. 
<sighs> Gotta say, not a fan of this game right now. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, one second. I just gotta, I want this out of my way. <sighs> All right. I am a bag of DNA. Right. And I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because of my genes demand re bleh, because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence. Figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses. For a pointless moment in time, they used to say blah 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 blah. I don't like this guy. Is there another? Okay, button. Cool, that probably opens the cellar. Is this really that short of a game? Do I just go into the cellar? Because it has to have been like half an hour by now, right? Okay, no. I guess not. What else did I miss in there? Do any of these open? No. Uh, of course not. Maybe I have to go back. Oh, maybe it unlocks that like cube that was in the first room. Because that was another thing that was bothering me. Bones. The cellar is freedom. Alright. So obviously the code is going to be freedom. <laughs> so predictable! Except for the freaking Lynn password. <laughs> that one was just dumb. Okay, I'm gonna trust that because the developers have said there is no jump scares in this, that this will not be like a jump scare. I'm worried. It's the only time- <laughs> It's the only time in this game I've actually been afraid. Um, you know what? Should I just stay, <laughs> stay here? I think I might just stay here. I'm worried if I turn around, what'll happen? Let's just go back up the ladder. Right? 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 <gasps> okay. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway, and I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity to find for me to find freedom. I don't want to see a dead person. It better just be a dead person. I better not see somebody moving. Okay, I gotta do this for you. I to do this for the people watching if anybody watches I'm worried I'm a little worried I don't like the flickering of my flashlight either what's going on okay it's just a bloody table it seems to have been torn from a diary she finally died last night 
I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testament to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I'm content in knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. Is it done? Is that it? The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful in the cellar. It was free in the cellar. All right, and that's it, because the game just closed. <laughs> like a year to play this game because I just I didn't I wasn't in the mood I knew about it like a year ago and I waited and that was it that was it oh my god there was like only one part where I was actually scared and that was because I was like oh what if they said that there's no jump scares and there's actually a jump scare and I would be really mad but there wasn't so that was dumb. <laughs> All right. That that this was this was something. This was certainly something. Thanks for joining me in this the whatever this was. Kiko plays a scary game so you don't have to. Kiko plays a mediocre game so you don't have to. It was okay, but it was incredibly predictable. Like, I didn't have to play through that whole game to know what was going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me and watching me be scared for one moment in the game and the rest just being frustrated. See you later.